Knock, knock, you little old bitty. Guess what? It's time to get evicted. That's right, Snorlax is here to teach you a thing or two about swinging for the fences. I didn't think you would try to hook her in her crooked nose. I just wanted you to shoot her, right? I'll quit your arguing. Okay, there we go. Oh, you need an acorn as well? Don't worry. I got your back. What's up, guys? Welcome to Pilgrims, uh, a super funny little adventure card game. And if you're like me, and you hear card game, and your eyes gloss over, and you think to yourself, this probably isn't for me, it's not like that, okay? We're not playing cards, they don't have any text on them. They just represent the items in your inventory and the people that have joined your party. And the idea is, when you encounter something on your journey, you get to choose who and what might serve the situation best. So if you run into a little old lady and she has something that you want, do you send out your polite party member with a flower to convince her? Or do you send out your bruiser party member with a gun to shoot her in the face? So if we're gonna get through this adventure, we're gonna have to ask a whole lot of questions and pay very close attention to our surroundings. Like, I'm already wondering how this guy managed to sleep in a tent till the middle of the day with birds outside. <laughs> like, I don't know how many of you guys have gone camping before, but that doesn't happen. Like, it's a forced wake up at the crack of dawn kind of situation. Nature is very loud and bright. Good morning, Scruffy. Did you get enough beauty sleep? Doesn't look like it. We're going on an adventure. Even though you don't look quite like a hobbit, you look more like an 1800 gold miner. What did you just throw? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess if we're going on an adventure, then we should probably know where we're going, kind of. First things first, what are you willing to bet Scruffy forgot something in the tent? It's just like him to have something fall out of his hat or his mustache or his pocket. Right? I, I knew it. I know him well. You'd think that leaving behind a straw penny isn't that big a deal, but you could buy a wife for that much back then. Yes, I get it. You're tired, okay? But you're the one who gave me the map, so where are we going next? How about we introduce ourselves to this guy? He seems like he has a big nose. Maybe he'd be willing to join us. When I said big nose, I meant that in the kindest, least possible shoot me in the face kind of way. Hello, stranger. Oh. Okay, well, he doesn't want my money or my life. He wants a bowl of potatoes. <laughs> I don't have a bowl of potatoes. I have an acorn. Could I interest you in an acorn? Maybe as an appetizer and then you could come with me? Uh, no, 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 okay, I'll, I'll get your potatoes, I'll be right back. So who or what would have a steaming hot bowl of potatoes for our large-nosed friend? Maybe the fire? Maybe there's somebody down here who's just a little bit nicer? Or not? Okay, well, hold on, we've got ourselves the pot, and I'm willing to bet we can put that over the fire. Okay, so we've got half the equation, we've got a steaming hot bowl, we just need the potatoes. <laughs> There aren't many places I can go, right? Maybe we should go up to the potato patch. I guess that would make some sense. Wait, they're actually potatoes? They are too. I thought I was just being a smart ass. <laughs> Those are definitely potatoes, right? Little white flour and okay, there we go. I know you were hoping to dig up gold, but you didn't have to pay your straw penny for that hoe, so. <laughs> In the end, I was partially wrong. Do we need Water? Do you think he would care about that? Probably not, right? Oh no, we do need water, of course. You'd think I'd just be able to walk down to the water and fill up the pots, right? I, I don't really need a dock to get potato water. I also don't need a little old witch. Uh, hello, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt your sleep. Please don't turn Scruffy into a bird. He would make a really terrible bird. <laughs> or maybe you want me to bring you a bird? A bird to abuse? Oh! Oh, she scared away her bird. So I need to find her bird. Okay. Then she'll give me a ride. Yeah, I don't really need a ride right now. I'm gonna quest for potato water, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Okay, well, it was nice meeting you. See you later. We got out of that one, Scruffy. Good job now to prepare Snorlax's meal so we can move on with our life. Pop that on there. 
fill with bird haters. You know the recipe, do you? Think that's good, good. Okay, for a second there, I thought they dissolved. Now, Scruffy is gonna give you your pot of boiling potatoes so that we can pass, but I want you to keep in mind that we have a business opportunity for you. As you pour that into your fat body, okay? There's room in this questing party for people who are willing to shoot little old ladies in the face. So, maybe you could give me the gun? Just join me, one of the two? Oh, you wanna get drunk and you'll give me your gun. That seems like a bad trade. Can I get the gun first? Whoa, okay. Kind of expected it to tease things out a little bit, but nope, there's the whole world. Let's go on an adventure, so we need to get him drunk. <gasps> I thought he would join us. Well, there's a little old lady and we got no one to shoot her in the face. Hello, ma'am. Oh, you want a coin, do you? I don't know if I want to give you a coin. I mean, yeah, all right, fine, we'll be generous. Scruffy is the nice guy in the group. Here you are. Okay, I, I didn't pay you to dance. <laughs> wow, that, that was amazing. We're, we're best friends now. Best friends give people things. Oh, oh! Oh, she joined the party! I didn't want a little old lady to join me, no! <laughs> no. Okay, well, all right then. Uh, we're gonna need a name for you. You shall henceforth be called Agnes. Maybe we should have Agnes wait here at the bridge. But I don't know if it's a good idea to have her running across all God's green earth in her decrepit state. <laughs> I'm seeing another individual over here underneath whatever the heck that is. Uh, okay, Agnes, you're up. You're really good at begging. How about you get us that fishing line? No, we need to be friends. Or maybe we need to be friendly? I know for a fact that Scruffy is quite the friendly individual. Nope, not even registering. Oh, oh, we got our coin back. I never even thought of the fact that if Agnes comes with us, then we keep what we paid for her. Again, Scruffy, I said that you could use this coin to buy yourself a wife and you're really just, you know, 0 for 2 on trying. No, nothing. Don't tell me you want a freaking bowl of hot potatoes too. Would you like a... Uh, Nut, and give you a nut. There you go. Nope. Okay then, I'm just gonna be on my way now. So he needs something to be our friend, but we have no idea what. Maybe we can go down to this house and find some friendship materials? Uh, okay, I'm gonna start off with Agnes again. Maybe you can, uh, oh, okay. No, that is a little old lady. <laughs> what does she want? They're having a little old lady conversation. Oh. Oh, is this Agnes's house? This lady chased Agnes out of her house and stole her broom. Oh, we really need to get Snorlax on our team. She is definitely the one who's gonna get shot in the face. <laughs> Can we steal her stuff? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got some plants. And that's about it. Oh, Agnes is fuming. I'm sorry, I don't think there's anything we can do. Uh, we could... Try Scruffy? No, you don't want to give us that broom? Okay. We've made friends, we've made enemies, we've made really everything in between. How about we try this house up here? The world's worst trick or treating. <laughs> Hello, little boy. Can I? Oh, I need that. Uh, Scruffy? Yeah, could I get that bottle of liquor from you, young man? You want to fish? And if I want to get a fishing rod, then I need to be friends with the guy under the pimple. Okay, that doesn't really help me. Oh, you want a coin for your glass? Okay, we can do that. You want to be my friend? You want to join the party? You're just going to give me the glass. Oh, you'll give me a glass of beer! That might be friendship material. Oh, Scruffy, you weren't supposed to drink it. We got our coin back, but now Scruffy's drunk. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, uh, hold on a second. It's interesting that you can see on their cards their abilities. So, Agnes is good at plucking flowers and flowers in general, begging and brooming. 
Whereas Scruffy is good at talking, tents, walking, and boat riding. Not all that helpful. Well, Scruffy got drunk. I don't see how that helps us. Okay, well, like I said, it's the world's worst trick-or-treating. We're just going somewhere, we're getting loaded, and then we're gonna go beg for forgiveness. Are you still... No, you sobered up. Well, good for you. Hello, Father. I don't suppose you have, um, anything of use for me? What if I make a donation to the church? Would you be willing to help? No? Okay, uh... Agnes, maybe you could beg? Right, the church usually gives out stuff to poor old people, maybe, possibly. Anything? He's got nothing. He's holding out on us. Oh, crap. So, just to be clear, if we want to shoot the old lady in the face, we need to get Snorlax. And to get Snorlax, we need to get the liquor. And to get the liquor, we need to get a fish. And to get a fish, we need to get a fishing pole. And to get a fishing pole, we gotta become friends with the Pimple Desert guy with some kind of friendship device, which we have yet to find. Maybe something up here? Run along, Agnes. I'm sure you can get there before Scruffy somehow. Oh. Okay, well, we have things. We can take a mushroom. We can take some rope. And we have another fire. Interesting. Don't really know how that's going to help us either. There's a bear up in a cave. I don't suppose he would have some kind of friendship device, would he? Is this a bad idea? Are we going to feed him Agnes? Could he join our party? Because that would make me really happy. Oh, we got ourselves a worm. That would help with fishing. Uh, I guess I don't suppose you could beg, borrow, or steal from the bear. He seems kind of cool. Oh, uh, okay, no, she, she's afraid, she's afraid. How about we uh, send in Scruffy? Scruffy's the talker. Hello! Can I come in your cave, maybe? I'd really appreciate it. Take that as a new. Um, don't really know what I'm working with here. How about I just get you super high? No, not one for the shrooms. Okay. Maybe I need to boil that mushroom into a soup. Right, if we go back and we fill the pot with water, we can put the mushroom in it and then make some kind of different meal. Would that work? Yes, hello. I, I, I don't care about your stupid bird. I'm just here to fill this. <laughs> He's like, oh, I just want somebody to help me with my bird problems. I'm happy that's the only bird she's asking for from Scruffy. Let's get the hell out of here. So now that we have that, we can go back over to the fire. There has to be a reason for multiple fires. Scruffy, you go ahead and put this there. And then put a mushroom in it. Could you do that for me? Yeah, there we go. That gonna make something? Ah, okay, so now we have mushroom soup. I don't know why. It's gotta be that this guy's hungry, right? Hopefully. Could I interest you in some mushroom soup, sir? Oh. Oh, I ate it. That's not what we were supposed to do. Oh, we ate it and we got crazy high and we're gone. Uh, Scruffy? Scruffy, what you- Okay! <laughs> Did he like that? Are we friends now? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Yeah, okay, so now we're, we're kind of friends. <laughs> what? Can I have this now? Oh, that's not enough, really? So, close, but not quite. There's a small possibility that the plants from Agnes's front lawn aren't entirely legal, maybe? If I toss these in the pot, are they gonna make some kind of super trippy goo? Okay then, I guess we're gonna try eating that! Are you kidding me? In the time it took me to go make some more psychedelic soup, you got sad? Well, hopefully this one is gonna send me into the stratosphere so that you'll be far more entertained. Nope. Apparently this one makes me sleepy. Isn't gonna help me, and now I don't have any more mushrooms, so... Who have we met that would want to sleep? You look kinda disheveled. I don't suppose I could interest you in some soup? Okay. Yeah, there we go, and then if you pass out, I can get into... Your cave? Okay, you didn't need to kick my pot. That's kind of rude. Uh, oh, come on.
come on, come on, come on, man. There we go, finally, down for the count. Now skin him and wear him like a suit. Or steal his giant diamond. Yeah, let's do that, that sounds way better, okay. I've made more psychedelic soup, and I'm really curious what would happen if Agnes drank it. Would this go poorly? I feel like this was a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry, old girl. I couldn't resist. Okay, yeah. She's still got plenty of get up and go in here. Okay, don't go over by the giant flaming holes in the ground. That's probably a bad idea. Are we friends now, you weird little munchkin goblin leprechaun thing? Half? So I, I need something else. Uh, do you like worms? How about worms? What if I just juggled a worm? Yeah, is, isn't that hilarious? Look at how bouncy it is. That actually works. <laughs> I got an achievement, funny granny. Can I have, oh, you want me to pay for it, really? Uh, all right, fine, here you go. We're friends, you know, friends don't pay friends. That's not how this works, but I really need that to get a fish, to get liquor, to get a gun to shoot an old lady in the face. So I'm sure you understand, can I have that as well? Oh, you want a bag of gold for a sword? Well, isn't that convenient, friend? I keep bothering the depressed witch of the river when in all reality, I haven't even bothered looking for her bird. Like, have you guys seen any birds? I feel like I've been keeping my eye out. In all reality, I'm just interested in getting a fish. Oh, no fishing here, really? So, do I need to find your bird first? Where would I find a bird? Or maybe I could just go fish somewhere else. That would make my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> yeah, screw you, lady. I'll find your bird someday, but right now I'm a whole lot more interested in shooting an old lady in the face. When I made that joke at the beginning of the video, I did not think it was going to be such a legitimate happening. <laughs> I didn't think a huge part of the game would revolve around that. Okay, hold on. We've got a worm. Yeah, I'm all over it. Might have been able to use that fly as well, unless... No, we got the fish right away. That works. So now we just need to cook it, right? We know where there are plenty of fires. We could just head over here and maybe get, uh, would you like to cook it? Oh, another mushroom, don't mind if I do. Should we cook it in a pot or not? I don't, no, we, we don't want to cook it in a pot. We want to cook it with a stick. Okay, perfect. So we'll give this to the bartender and things will be set in motion. Hello there, young man, that's a, Lovely painting of what I can only assume is a demented rabbit on your wall. <laughs> Here's that fish you were asking for. Just add it in my pocket, throw it to you with my hands, and let me guess, you're gonna eat it like a seagull? Ooh, I'll take that coin. We cool now? Oh, I thought he just threw it on the ground, I was gonna say, that's really rude. <laughs> okay, we're good. Now, Snorlax, are you ready to join us finally? You had better be joining us. I don't want the gun. I don't want to do the, the dirty work myself kind of thing. Wanna give me that gun? Yes? For liquor. Okay, well, I went through hell and back to give you this liquor. So you better enjoy it. Right? G give, me the, give me the gun first. G give me the gun first. No. I didn't want him to get drunk and then hand me the gun. That's just a recipe for disaster. Oh, his nose got all red. Yo, yeah, oh, I didn't give him an acorn. Does he want it? Oh, he wants an acorn. Okay, well, I really don't think getting him drunk and then giving him ammo is a good idea, but sure. Not like an acorn out of a blunderbuss could take out someone's eye. Oh yeah, yeah, just to spin it around near my face. Yeah, Scruffy really appreciates that. We good? Yeah, yeah, good, good. We're friends now. Yes, perfect. Just like Dolores, right? That Dolores, Agnes, I keep calling her Dolores. It doesn't matter, okay? Snorlax is one with the group. Knock, knock, you little old bitty. Guess what? It's time to get evicted. That's right, Snorlax is here to teach you a thing or two about swinging for the fences. I didn't think you would try to hook her in her crooked nose. I just wanted you to shoot her, right? Oh, quit your arguing, okay, there we go. Oh, you need an acorn as well? Don't worry, 
I got your back, loaded and ready to go. How do you feel about that? I'm gonna take that broom and kill her. We kill her. Oh, what if I then get Agnes out here and then we give her the broom and you can get your revenge, right? Because you were sweeping one day and then she took the broom from you and hit you with it. So now we're gonna take the broom from her and you're gonna hit her with it. It'll be perfect symmetry. I don't understand how this worked, but it's fine by me because now you get to whack her. Yes. Okay. Okay. That, that, that's enough. Okay. We, we don't we don't need this to be premeditated murder. Please, for the love of God, just, just chase her away. Is she going? She's got fire coming out of her eyes. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe a pot full of water would do the trick. Okay, Agnes, calm down. She, she's had enough, Agnes. It's, it's too much. You've been hanging around with Snorlax too long. There we go. Okay, just douse her. And she's blind. Okay, then. We didn't take her eyes. The fire did. No court in the land would hold that against us. Oh no, we lost Aggies, but we got a bird! Hey, 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 bird, 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 bird. Hello. Uh, Scruffy, Scruffy, you really gotta catch that bird. Come on now, nope. Are you kidding me, Scruffy? Yes, I know we need, oh, we're one step closer to getting the bird. Great, <laughs> but we lost Agnes. Ah, <laughs> oh, screw it. Okay, so where did to next, I never even saw the giant castle in the distance. You'd think I would go there over the bear's nest. Bear's nest? The bear's cave? Oh, oh, I couldn't even get through here if I wanted to, right? Because I probably need the muscle to pull this back. There we go. Okay. You're gonna have to forgive Scruffy, my lord. He's a little bit dim in the head. But just to be clear, a giant chicken dragon landed on your castle squawked about demanding the princess may or may not have actually kidnapped her and then flew off. <laughs> and if we somehow manage to stop your day of mourning and kill the chicken dragon with a sword that we don't have, he's just gonna be sleeping there. We cut his head off, not a big deal. Apparently chicken dragons aren't all that dangerous. I highly doubt that. Both chickens and dragons are nuts. But if we do manage to do that, you will give us both the crown and your wife. It's a pretty good deal. It just so happens that I found this royal jewel in a bear cave not too far from here. After totally not roofing the bear that lives there. But I'm noticing that there is a giant jewel in the window behind you. And your crown seems to have a big empty spot. So maybe if I give you this, I would curry favor with the king. I don't need to take your crown and your wife. I could just take your wife for like an evening. It's not that big a deal. Maybe the objective of this game is just to get scruffy lays. <laughs> yes, your hat is much fancier now. Congratulations. Oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose I could sell it for a bag of coins for the leprechaun. That works too. So we could go pay off our little green friend and get his lucky charms, but right now I'm kind of curious what's up with this place over here? Right, we haven't been here before. Uh, Scruffy, care to investigate? Oh, hey, Satan! <laughs> Long time no see! Can I get you a rope? A rope? I mean, yeah, I've, I've got rope. Here you go. What are you gonna use that rope for, Satan? Probably nothing good. <laughs> Are we friends now? Oh, you want to kidnap? Oh. Mm, oh, wait, we are friends now? Wait, 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 what? Are you actually good? I was being sarcastic. <laughs> he wants to kidnap the bishop and toss him in a hole? I mean, I'm all for it. That sounds amazing. Sure, why not? We're just gonna head back over here. He was a jerk to us earlier. Right? Or at least not very nice. He didn't want to give anything to starving little old Agnes, so... Uh, I guess we'll just send you out. Hello! Come on out now! There we go, where's that rope? I'm sure I got it here somewhere. Do we need to convince him to come out, or can you lasso him out of there? Hmm. Could I interest you in a giant 
bowl of roofies? Okay. Yeah, Satan made them himself. <laughs> now you'll be a little bit less struggly. Yeah, there we go. Appreciate it. <laughs> now we lasso you. Or do I need to get Satan to do it? I don't think he's going anywhere now. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll switch out and then there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. It's just because he wanted me to. Like, I'm not getting any items out of this as far as I can tell, but that's correct. Shove him in the hole. There we go. And we're good. Don't, don't, no, don't you leave me. I need you. Oh, it was one step closer to the bird. Well, I guess we can go have a talk with our leprechaun friend, but it looks like there's somebody else waiting for us. Back at the church? Yeah, can I have that sword now? Oh, you want a bag full of coins? Yeah, why not? You want me to put it in a pot? Maybe lay it under a rainbow? No, are we good? <laughs> I gotta save a princess. Maybe. I'm still not even sure if there is a princess. Hey, man. You already took the gold, okay? That's right. Hey, you be on your way now. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now, what's going on over at the church? Somebody else here all of a sudden? Oh, hello, ma'am. Uh, you probably don't want to talk to me. I'm kind of friends with the devil. These acquaintances. I think we just got blessed. How long does absolution last for? Because we've got some more sins to do. I need to lop the head off of a very angry and loud chicken dragon. Hello. I don't suppose you have any princesses back there, do you? I'm not even really sure why I'm punching you and your ball sack chinny face. Oh, oh, no, 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 Snorlax. He's too fat to eat. Good. Okay, uh, we can put a stick in his mouth. No, no, screw the stick. Lop off his head. I'm really happy I didn't make Scruffy the hero. He may have gotten eaten there. Yeah, that's right. You want the queen's chest? Well, what, are we gonna agree with her? Like, yeah, I know the queen's got a rockin' set of tits, but still. We can't just find common ground in boobies, kill the thing. I'm really confused right now. Should we go talk to the queen? Good evening, sire. Uh, there's been a bit of a development. I, I, I spoke with the chicken dragon, and we've come to an agreement that your wife has a rockin' set of baps, so she's gonna have to come with us. Is that a no? Am I gonna have to get the muscle involved? How about that? Yeah, give me the queen or else. <laughs> you are more than happy to give her up as a reward, so how about a preemptive reward? Okay, yeah, you know what? We're gonna have to get the gun. There we go. Give me the queen and no one gets hurt. <laughs> Little does he know, it's not even loaded with an acorn. I legitimately got the queen. Okay then. I honestly didn't expect that to work. <laughs> All right, well, good news, Chicken Dragon. We got her. Please don't eat her. Please, please, please don't eat her. That, that would be a real bad ending to this. Oh. Oh. They're friends. Oh. Oh, they might be more than friends. Oh, that's a far worse end. No, no. Oh, if you were into that kind of thing, you should have just told me. <laughs> no. <laughs> this isn't what I wanted at all. I was supposed to save a princess and become king and get a hot queen, but no. Instead, Snorlax ran off with a chest, and it wasn't even the queen's chest. Okay. Oh, and the birds. Get the bird, get the bird, scruffy, scruffy, dive on the bird. Come on now. Oh my God, this witch needs a bird. That's the objective of the entire game, please. There you go. Thank you, little Toucan Sam. Can you come with me now? Get it, get in my pocket. Wonderful. So, wait, Scruffy doesn't even get a cut of the pay. Storlax. Did all the work, technically. I guess he was the one to slay the dragon, and then the dragon slayed the queen. <gasps> okay, screw it. I guess Scruffy is gonna help you out with your bird. And then we're gonna sail off to faraway lands together and live happily ever after. Can you turn into a hot witch? Was the bird was keeping you ugly? Maybe? Possibly? 
I need anything, okay? <laughs> Scruffy needs a happy ending, please. Yep. Not what I was hoping for. <laughs> this was such a cool little game. Oh my god, I loved it. Ooh, there are a lot of possibilities. We only encountered a small portion of them, and we didn't even have Snorlax become king in the end. So you know what? Uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Pilgrims, guys. And if you want to see another playthrough of this game, be sure to leave a like in the video and let me know. I would love to find out what else you could do. I just assumed that I did everything properly, but apparently not. <laughs> and this was one of the most unique and cool little games that I've played in a long time, so I would honestly love to play it again. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.